Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Romantic where we specialize in HVAC. We do everything DIY and today we just got an emergency service call for a leaking water pipe. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jump Romantic. They had to break into this wall as there was water pouring out everywhere. We currently have a leak on this elbow right here on this side. They opened up the water and I noticed it leaking from there. I don't want to open it back up because it's just going to pour over here and I'm going to be doing some soldering. I don't want any water in the pipes. Got my light in there. I do have my press tool. I would be able to cut here, but the problem is I won't be able to get my tool on this edge. That's the problem. This is in our way. I don't think I can fit it. So I think the best bet here is just let's go with the old-fashioned soldering. This elbow needs to go. So let's unsolder. Let's cut here, unsolder from here. Let's pull this out and rebuild it. They shut the water off from downstairs. Clearly, it's not leaking anymore. This is open, but the water's coming from downstairs and going up. And I believe this feeds an irrigation system somewhere in there on their patio. So I open this. There's nothing coming out. We should be good. So let's do this in a comfortable space. Let's cut it right here in the middle where it's easy to get to. A little bit of water there. There's not really any pressure. So it must be whatever's left over on this side and it's gonna make its way down. Slow it down. Let's go for it. Oh wow, that thing just fell right there. Yeah, the water was whatever was left in here. Oh wow. That goes nowhere. It goes nowhere. It goes right here and it's capped off. So we don't need that. We just need a cap right here. I use this hot block made by Soderwell. This is heat absorption putty. So it's so close to the T here. While I unsolder this, because I need that length of pipe to cap it off, I don't want to melt it. So we're going to use the heat absorption putty. We've got the smoke alarm off right now. Let's see, if we, let's get this off and figure out my idea. Best thing I think just to cap it off right there. water in there. It's gonna have to steam out before this could actually get loose. Let me see it bubbling out. thousand years later okay got that out want that nice and clean everything is nice and clean I was able to find a hardware store nearby and they had a cap I think the best bet was to just cap this off really whenever we're doing any type of copper pipe work you want to sand the outside of your pipes and the inside of your fittings the outside of the pipe is already sanded down and i'm just going to sand this cap ah, this is flux i'm going to flux the outside of our pipes and the inside of our fittings Let's 
Let's cap this off. When you have that XX flux coming out, I wipe it away. Really only want it inside the fitting. So that's that, it's all the way in. And let's solder it up. I got 95.5 solder. There's water in there. I gotta try to get that out. All right, that's the finished product. I got my partner, I'm gonna open the water downstairs. All right, Chris, open the water slowly right now. All right. Slowly. I hear it filling up. It's open, all the way. Oh, stop, close it. There's more water coming from somewhere above hold up we fixed that problem there's something else leaking here jeez all right hold up i just closed this valve open up the water downstairs again it's open all the way yep. all the way yep. all right cool so our cap is good Whatever it is, now we have a problem from above. If I open this. Water coming. Oh boy. All right, All right so this is what was leaking before that elbow. This is good now. But now there's something in there. Man, this is like brick and then sheetrock. And that metal studs, oh boy. Something over here is leaking. Do I really have to break the wall to get in here? Oh man, I wish it was just that. I was ready to go home. Let's see, maybe you guys can see right back there, there's some pipes. I'm gonna open up the water. You see it? It's right at the edge of the wall. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, so this is the irrigation that they must have been talking about. So, somewhere right here, I saw it leaking. Uh, let's see if we can see anything. Chris, open the water. Alright, wait, where's the valve for this? We gotta close this. Just found whatever was here. Kind of just made a connection. Maybe we can close the valves from here. This is where I would have to adjust the stem, but let's maybe leave that open and close these little valves. Chris, open up that water again. Okay, is there water leaking in the wall? Let me see. All right, it looks like it stopped. Oh man, that's great. Whew, I thought I was gonna have to break this wall down. <laughs> All right, guys, got no leaks. That's looking super clean and nice. And we got nothing coming from out there. Let's just make sure our connections outside are clear because I saw a little bit of drips here and there. So, wow. Thank the Lord on this one. And now I have to continue here. It's uh, New Year's Eve right now. And I wanna go enjoy myself as well. And honestly, just rest. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. Don't forget to share this video with your colleagues and friends, and I'll catch you all next time.